Fox Carolina. The morning news starts now with breaking news. Tropical storm Debbie is moving through Georgia right now, but already bringing plenty of rain and intense wind to the South Carolina coast. We are taking a live look right now. This is Georgia's coast, of course, uh, Savannah right now. This morning, South Carolina, North Carolina, Georgia, and Florida all under a state of emergency. A lot to get to on this Tuesday morning as we monitor all aspects of Debbie. Breaking at this hour, we've actually learned that more than 11,000 homes and businesses in the low country are without power right now. Oh, and this is really just the beginning for it us. Sure is. All new this morning, a first alert weather day now declared for us here. That's going to be on Thursday. Mm -hmm. All this as the worst of the rain could come on the first day of school for tens of thousands of students. We're talking about Greenville County, of course. Yeah, it's going to be a mess. Yeah. We have team coverage for you this morning, starting with our first alert meteorologist, Catherine Noel. She has the latest track on Debbie and what it will bring to us here. Yeah, you know, not a day that you want to hear about Thursday, first day back to school for Greenville and Cherokee counties. When it comes to that's when we're seeing our first bit of heavy rain to move on through that day from Debbie. Gusty winds, too. So this is why we declared it a first alert weather day. Those kiddos are going to have to embrace those impacts of Debbie, especially on the way home. We'll talk about exactly when we see those showers, heavy bits of rain to move on through and winds. But starting with this morning to get you out the door, still have the next couple of days to get through. We do have some some rain across the upstate. It is barely just clipping us in Newberry County. Also parts of Greenwood too. Otherwise we are waking up to dry cloudy conditions. Some moderate showers over 76 here towards Chapin, towards Saluda, Edgefield. And then otherwise, if you travel towards Columbia, clearly you're going to get hit with those moderate downpours. It just gets worse when it comes to the heavier rains towards the coastline. Of course, temperatures right now in the low to mid 70s off to a mild start. We don't warm up a ton today. A lot of cloud cover keeping us in the low to mid 80s, so maybe a little bit cooler. Still mild today and those winds Winds. Still going to be breezy, though. I can tell you that northeast gusting up to 25 miles per hour. So it is a day. Maybe you'll find that trash can a little bit down the road too in your neighbor's uh at least in front of your neighbor's house, that is, with these gusts around 20 to 25 miles per hour. These are going to stay with us in the coming days, but we're going to get more chances of rain as we go into Thursday into Friday. Reason why we did declare it a first alert weather day on Thursday with those kiddos going back to school, many of them. Still a very, very slow moving system. You can see moving northeast at seven miles per hour. Not a huge change in the latest track, still moving and off the coast of Georgia. Later on today, back into the coastline there, potentially over Charleston to making another another landfall that is before we get the rain here on Thursday. We're going to track that out for you with team coverage too, talking about what's happening here, those impacts at home, but plus the coastline that's going to be coming up in about 10 to 15 minutes. But now let's go over to a first check of traffic here this morning. That's going to be a little bit later. We do have it back to you guys. Traffic appears to be fine at this time, but that breaking news team coverage picking up as Debbie hits the low country, Charleston on high alert. Yeah, they could see 20 plus inches of rain when this is all said and done. Oh, it's going to be a mess there as it floods very easily. Fox Carolina's Anna Arinder live in Charleston where a citywide curfew is now in effect. And Anna, you're already seeing flooding. Yeah, Mac, that's absolutely right. You can even tell I'm, I'm five feet for reference and uh, I am already about calf high in flooding here in downtown Charleston. Uh, we're right in the heart of the market and the market even just since we've been here in the last 30 minutes has already started to flood this water uh, just rushing down the roads. We're trying to stay safe ourselves, make sure that our cars and everything are, are not going to get caught up in a lot of this road flooding. But this morning we've really run into a lot of obstacles because of flooding like this and the expectancy to really see some high waters. If you look right over here there's actually a drain in the middle of the street and it kind of gives a good reference this morning especially still being dark of just how fast this water is moving you can even see it spiraling there uh, earlier this weekend uh, the mayor of Charleston saying that the infrastructure is really going to take a hit here because it really doesn't allow for 50 to 60 inches of rain in uh, just a short amount of time, which is what we're expected to see here in downtown Charleston. Uh, they really only get that about annually. So to have that much rain coming so quickly and things are only going to get worse as this week progresses and as Debbie really starts to hit South Carolina proper. Uh, again, these streets just massive flooding and uh, we're trying to mark here uh, just how high we've seen it over the last 30 minutes. But like I said, calf high here for me, Ashley, Margaret Ann. Well, Anna, I know in the last half hour you had mentioned whether you and the crew there would have to move their car due to some flooding concerns there. So I wanted to get an update from you. Have y'all had to move the vehicle? 
Yeah, we actually have um, over in the five o'clock hour, we were actually on the battery, which is uh, just a couple blocks to my right. And we were hit with so much wind and rain coming off of the water. Uh, a lot of flooding starting there as well. So just to be safe, we did move a little bit further this way uh, away from the water. But as you can tell, we have ran into more flooding and there are some businesses behind me that I do want to mention. Uh, as you can see, there's some sandbags. Uh, there is a lot of boarding uh, being done here at a lot of the businesses to hopefully prevent some of this flooding to damage these businesses. Uh, I know that Charleston really can get hit with rain and wind, but it's this flooding that is going to do the most damage here in Charleston. So we're going to continue to keep an eye on things for you here on the coast. Live in Charleston, Anna Arinder, Fox Carolina News.